Hey everybody, it's Adriana from Living Healthy with Chocolate. Today we're going to be making my recipe for warm caramel apple pie bread. It's so amazing and easy to make. You guys are going to love it. This is an over-the-top dessert, perfect for this time of year, and full of apple, caramel, and cinnamon flavors. But unlike other traditional desserts, today I'm going to show you how it's possible to make a delicious bread without using any wheat, grains, or gluten flours. So to get started, let's preheat the oven to 350 degrees and prepare our pan. Today I'm using the 6.5 by 4 inch pan, and you can also make this as a cake in a round cake pan if you prefer. Let's grease the bottom and sides of the pan with a little bit of coconut oil so that nothing sticks and place a piece of parchment paper on the bottom. Next, we're going to mix the dry ingredients in a large bowl. Here I have blanched almond flour, coconut flour, ground cinnamon, baking soda, and salt. If you've been following me, you know how important it is to use an almond flour that has been very finely ground. And not all brands work the same for baking, so below this video I'm going to put a link to the ones that I recommend. Now for the wet ingredients, let's mix in a large bowl the coconut milk, coconut oil, honey, eggs, apple cider vinegar, and vanilla extract. Using a rubber spatula, mix the wet and the dry ingredients just until combined. We don't want to overmix the batter because the almond flour may release some of its oil and this will affect the texture of your bread. And now we need a small apple. Here I'm using the Granny Smith kind and we need to slice it into thin slices of about an eighth inch thin. In the end you're looking for 91 grams of apples, which is almost a full cup. Add the apples to the batter along with the chopped walnuts or pecans and gently mix to combine. Reserve about one tablespoon of the walnuts so that we can sprinkle over the top later. And now let's make a real simple crumb as the topping for our bread. All we need is a little almond flour, coconut oil and cinnamon. Mix this with your fingers and sprinkle over the top with the chopped walnuts that we set aside. Bake for around 30 minutes and then place a piece of aluminum foil over the top so that it doesn't burn and continue to bake for another 20 minutes or until a stick inserted into the center of your loaf comes out clean. Let the bread cool over a cooling rack in the pan for about 10 minutes. And for the most decadent part, let's drizzle some caramel over the top and serve our bread warm. This is my homemade caramel sauce that I taught you how to make on another video. So if you haven't watched it yet, I'm going to put a link to it below this video so you can check it out. This caramel apple pie bread is loaded with chunks of apples and crunchy walnuts, all wrapped in a delicious cinnamon almond flour batter. This is one of my all-time favorite recipes and I really hope you try it soon and share with everyone. The texture is so soft, moist and fluffy. Your house will smell like warm apple pie when you bake this bread. Sometimes it amazes me why people would choose to bake with processed ingredients while we have so many healthy options available. If you like this recipe, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to check out my website for more healthy recipes. Subscribe here to my channel and leave your comments and questions below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you back here next week. Bye!